Hi everyone. Happy Memorial Day. Um, it's a, a day definitely to reflect and to, you know, honor those who have served, who have given the ultimate sacrifice, and also to, you know, also think about those who are serving and still are putting their lives on the line. It's not just a day about the dead. It's not just a day about grieving. It's a day about understanding, remembrance, knowing where we came from, how we got there, and how everything has impacted. So I've laid out this little display. And uh, as far as I'm aware, you know, it's a tribute. I mean, uh, <laughs> these were the days you didn't even spell my name right. <laughs> but, um, yeah, never knew what happened to him. But, uh, yeah, good buddy. Um, so as you can see here, I have um, the two flags laid out. I don't have an English flag, believe it or not, which is remarkable. Um, but I have a Scottish flag, uh, cause these two flags, the American flag and Scottish flag, um, and I, I was really looking through the photos and I think I'd have to go through my wedding album, um, to find them. But, uh, these two flags, these exact flags were on, um, one of the Queen's cars or the government cars, shall we say. And these two particular flags were used when I got married. So there was on the right hand side, the American flag on the left hand side, the Scottish flag. And it was really cool. It was something that uh, I'll always cherish. So anyway, I mean, friends are amazing. Friends are absolutely true. And uh, you know, I've, I've put a bunch of stuff here. Um, not as any kind of promotional or anything else. And my channel likes to kind of talk about, um, a lot of the silver and, you know, the gold or the fakes or so on and so forth. Well, today it's not about that. Today is, uh, just a day of contemplation really for me. Um, so I'm sorry if you are expecting a big unboxing, it's not going to happen but I do have one important thing that uh, I really would like to actually discuss with you guys. And um, to that degree, it's, it, it's a tough one, really. Uh, if you would have seen my previous videos, you would have known, obviously, that, uh, you know, obviously my, my Uncle Pete had uh, passed away. Uh, so Uncle Dave, not Uncle Pete, sorry, he was looking at other things. I have a whole photo album over there, and I was uh, pulling stuff through. But, uh, yeah, Uncle David passed away, and um, that's where that American flag had come from. This was a, a gift, actually, from a friend on, the, uh, on one of the forums I belong to, that obviously I made, and that I was given to... <laughs> Decades ago. Um, but uh, yeah, so my, my whole point about this video would be does your family, does your loved ones know, I suppose, what to do basically, oops, sorry, ICE in case of emergency? So, if you were to be taken ill, if you were to pass away or pass on, one of the things that I don't want personally is I don't want squabbling and I don't want anything else. And there's multiple ways of doing things. And I'm sorry the rain has just decided to come heavily down again, which is why I'm not pouring today, because today I was going to pour. But, um, well... I was talking to a good friend and um, I actually, I had offered up my assistance. I said, look, you know, um, you know, tell your loved ones and family that 
or even put my name and telephone number in a safe to say, seek advice. He's not a buyer though. Um, that way, you know, I could be completely impartial and I could help someone out, you know, in case. And that's fine. And uh, obviously, you know, I could help them out, do the research and then let them decide what to do because the last thing you want is them taking, you know, let's say a piece of art, you know, like, I don't know, one of my bars, one of your bars, whatever it may be, and getting scrap value for it. Or taking, let's say, one of the Simpsons, you know, the Perth Simpsons collections or the Queen's Beast collection or, you know, a monster box full of ASEs um, or Maples or Britannias. You don't want them just getting scrap value for or be low spot price value for because I mean that is horrendous and um, you know look at alternatives look at who you can trust look at who is around you that could offer their advice and assistance um, and my friend he's nowhere near you know anything um, but it is no freaking hailing on me I'm sorry <laughs> And I'm not kidding. Hold on. There you go. I got hail. And it is genuine hail. Okay, so sorry about that. But as I said, it was gen it's genuine hail and it's just like, are you kidding me? But, so, look around. Ask, ask basically, and make sure you have a backup plan. Um, you know, most of our backup plans are either to cash it in for retirement or whatever, but, you know, I still think that we should always have a contact number of someone special, um, who would be able to help. I do have a contact number, uh, in the event. This person actually doesn't know that they're my contact number and I do need to speak to them really about it and say, look, if the worst does happen, then, you know, please note, I put you as a contact. I think that's kind of important as well. Um, but make sure that you have a contact number and um, make sure that that person is well and truly aware um, that should anything actually happen to you, um, you know, that they could offer help and advice uh, with the family. I say I have one, I technically I have about three, but you know, um, my boys actually, <laughs> if you watch my video, my boys have one, one person that they'll contact straight away. Um, and, um, yeah, so we shall go from there. But anyway, enough about that. I just really wanted to, I, I don't know, I don't know really what I wanted to do with this. Um, uh, there's a big, long thing. I was going to have planned out for this um, and I decided to scrap it all at the last minute but you know make sure that you have your investments sorted out um, because otherwise it'll go to the state it'll go to um, you know just next of kin and you know people can end up fighting over this kind of trivial you know well it, in, in my case it's not trivial it's it, it, it's an awful lot and there's a lot more uh, at stake just besides obviously my own personal uh, safes um, but there's also the Ace Bullion uh, branding as a whole um, so you have to kind of make sure you, you deal with all of your uh, affairs really and uh, get them sorted um, but, uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, as I said, if it wasn't for the weather, um, I'd definitely be pouring. Also, as with always, life picks up. So our cooker went. Uh, it was only the top oven part where it's like a grill and, you know, top oven cooker. So my wife and I replaced the filament because um, I, I needed her help because there's no way I can move stuff. And... Uh, when we plugged it back in, then the bottom cooker wouldn't work. Ah! 
So I then had we disconnected all the electrics again. I tested everything out. I double checked it. I figured it was probably a loose wire. Um, I double checked all the connection points again, um, and I ran all diagnostics and hey, that worked. It was great. Plugged it back in and hurrah, it's sorted, it's fixed. Um, but I suffered like heck. Um, I was on a lot of medication. Um, still recovering. And then um, obviously I had done both of my kids' uh, bicycles. Uh, one of them still in the shop because I'm awaiting new brake pads. But hey. So... Yeah, that's what kind of happens. Life gets in the way of everything else. Um, but this is why, you know, <laughs> why we're remembering all, you know, all the people who have come before us and who are still fighting for our freedoms wherever we are and whatever country we're in. So, again, to end it, happy Memorial Day, everyone, you know. If you see someone in uniform, uh, a soldier, um, you know, a government official, just thank them. You know, it's a job, yeah, so, but it goes a mile. Thank you all. I'll talk with you later. Bye for now.